Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Stars and Shadow, a brand new series on the channel. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabouts and I will be your lovely host for this playthrough. A little bit about Stars and Shadow, it's a 4x strategy game set in space, developed by Ashdar Games and it was just recently released just a few days ago on uh, Steam Early Access. So uh, definitely excited to check this out uh, and uh, see what it's all about. We're going to go ahead and start a new game. And I've already decided that I'm going to play it the, as the uh, extremely uh, smart water bugs, pretty much. The reclusive deep water bug scientists with an affinity for high energy physics. Um, yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. So uh, here's a little blurb about them. If you want to pause the video and read that, feel free to do so. However, I am not going to read that because that'll take a while. Uh, for academics, they, their colonists generate uh, 0.5 science and heavy artillery is kind of their... Uh, special weapon and it, um, basically their affinity for energy weapons it says right there gives them an early access to super heavy siege weapons so uh, definitely pretty dang neat and their home world is an ice ball uh, and you can see here their colonist production and their scientist perks which uh, is pretty neat as well now something to quickly note um, I've never played this game before this can be my first time playing it ever so as you watch me play right now, you are watching me play the game for the very first time. So that is your disclaimer. Uh, it's very possible that I might mess a lot of things up. Hopefully I don't. Um, now, it is setting me on easy probably because it is my first time playing. Um, for those of you that uh, follow my channel very closely, you know uh, what the, the usual standard is for me uh, for difficulty settings. And then for those of you joining me for the first time, uh, you're about to find out. I generally try to play games a little bit. My, uh, I, I try to challenge myself a little bit more. So we're going to be playing on the hard difficulty. And even though I've never played the game before, uh, it doesn't matter because I really think it's going to lead for a, an, an exciting and uh, interesting playthrough nonetheless, whether I win or lose. Uh, we'll just let the AIs that are here stay here. And I, I'm perfectly fine. What is this? Four other factions plus me. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, for the playfield size, uh, usually I go with larger playfields, but um, I think we'll just, um, you know, I think we'll just stick with normal, but we'll up this to 60 star systems. Nah, we better keep it 50. Yeah, we'll make it like a close quarters death match we're gonna add one more race here because i do want to play with uh one of the dinosaur races and for native races uh wow rare or abundant i really don't get anything in the middle huh i guess we'll keep it rare uh the game uh once again the game is early access so there are some settings here that'll be here in the future that are not here now uh, let's go ahead and start the game. So generating new galaxy. I'm kind of curious to see how uh, the hard AI plays out. Um, if I beat them on my first game, that would be hilarious. Uh, probably definitely a big... Uh, <laughs> it would be probably a coincidence. It's probably not going to happen, but it'd still be pretty funny. Uh, we'll find out though. We'll see You know how, how good the AI is or if they get lots of bonuses or if they're actually genuinely a little bit smarter than uh, your normal AI. So uh, we are ready to explore the stars. Um, uh, I am not going to read this. We're just going to dismiss this and go ahead and start the game. So taking a look here, we can see that it looks like we started on the edge of our, holy crap. This is extremely small. I was imagining, I was imagining this to be much, much larger. 50 was clearly uh, way too small. Um, <laughs> this is going to be really funny. All right. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, play it out anyways why not let's see what do we got here so we start with a colony ship a transport and an exploration vessel so we'll go ahead and start doing some exploring totally kind of guessing here what the keys are all right and a colony ship and a transport we can use that to do some exploring okay that's too far so i guess we'll head up here okay and here's our home world very awesome couple planets here in our system we can see but i guess they don't have anything from uh what i can tell all right cool all right we got to choose research let's go ahead and choose some research 
All right, so choose next research project. Wow, what do we want to do? Well, we do uh, specialize in uh, physics research, and uh, you can see here our bonus is that physics research pro projects are reduced to 70% of their base cost, which is, uh, uh, wow, that's actually really nice. That's a huge bonus. Holy crap. Uh, wow, T tachyon physics. What does this give us? Um, prerequisites to star drive. So field physics leads to hyperspace metrics and deflector screens. Okay. Increases system scanning range to four parsecs. Nice. Four parsecs. And or we could do containment fields. It, uh, trade ship cargo capacity is increased. Maybe not that important right now. Uh, rapid fire lasers. I feel like... Mm, Playing the AI on hard, I feel like we should really focus on um, early game weapons. Rapid fire lasers sound fantastic. Wait, hold on a second. Let me double check that. Maybe we don't want rapid fire lasers. Uh, I thought we used energy weapons mainly. Superconductors. What do we have? Lasers. Okay. So lasers are energy weapons. I, I, I wasn't sure if lasers were energy weapons. This is beams. You know, lasers. I guess lasers are energy weapons. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, beam weapons, energy. Yeah, okay. For some reason, I was thinking energy weapons is plasma. I guess it's all really relevant to whatever you want it to be. Um, okay, so that's where we got there. Some scouts going. All right, now we got to choose production on our home planet here. What would we like to build? Well, our home planet's got a pretty decent amount of production, some metal being produced, uh, some income there, a little bit of food, some research. Well, I'd say we definitely probably need to bump that food up a little bit if we're going to get this population boosting. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a farm. It's only going to take four turns, so... Yeah, a farm is definitely what we need. And then what do we got here? Some tanks, troop ships, colony, exploration, destroyer, outpost, transport. Okay, pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and check all of that out uh, a little bit later down the road. But yeah, we're definitely going to get a farm going. Let's uh, end our turn. All right. Well, wouldn't it be really embarrassing if I lost in like three t <laughs> in th like three episodes? All right, colony ship. These each have two... Okay, there's really nothing I can do. We're kind of playing the waiting game. Uh, typical of any 4X uh, turn-based game. Usually the early game is kind of a waiting game. But uh, there we go. We've already discovered something. So we have detected signs of intelligent life in the Proxima, uh, Proxima system. Native inhabit, uh, in, uh, inhabitants. So why don't we take a look and see what they are. Holy crap, a refugee colony. We have encountered a human refugee colony in the Proxima Sista, uh, system. So a small uh, enclave of humans has established a colony on uh, Proxima 3. The leader of the colony sends a message. Our ship crashed here decades ago. My people have been trying to scrap out a living here, but it's not going so well. I'm not sure we can survive another season. I have never seen an Orthan before, but I'm sure we could find a way to be useful if we could be allowed to join your empire. Whoa, yeah, welcome to the empire. You won't regret this, Director. Of course I won't. <laughs> How could I regret having multiple people? Holy crap, native inhabitants. Uh, are they the same exact ones? Or are they more? Where are they? Mineral rich, cool. Mineral poor. Native population. Well, what kind of native population? Oh, interesting. Some creatures. Okay, and they don't seem to give us bonuses. I think creatures do give you bonuses. The planet is mineral rich, though. Not sure how I take advantage of something like that. Let's, uh, we got another colony, but let's go ahead and we want to get exploration moving forward some more. And, uh, we actually should probably take a look. Oh, that is out of your fuel system. Interesting enough. Um, all right, I guess head back home. Uh, let's take a look and see how this planet's doing. So... Income is negative, but food is good. Not producing any metal and production is low. So one thing we definitely want to fix is that income. Uh, not sure what would actually fix it. That would give us metal though. Hmm. Research trade auto. None. Okay, I'm not sure what that did. But I decided I don't want that now. So we're going to do uh, a mine, I guess. 
um, because they don't have, they're not generating income, but they're definitely not generating any metal. I'm not really sure what gives us income. Oh, here we go. Uh, so taxes basically, which they're not producing any and, uh, building a market would increase base income by three. So improvements minus one total minus one. Um, so really I would have to increase taxes. All right, each citizen produces. So we just don't have any citizens producing. Hmm. We'll give it a turn and see what happens. There's our home world that's about to build a farm in one turn. I like this little planetary report over here. That's kind of convenient. Okay, the human refugees, though, so they've been assimilated into our empire. They should now be paying taxes, I would imagine. And uh, we've got our construction complete, so we got a little bit more food. Uh, not bad. What else do we want to produce? I think the smart thing right now to do would be to uh, definitely probably up our production. It's going to take us 12 turns, but yeah, let's go ahead and up our production. So what do we got here? A factory. This, so this must be the limited amount of improvements we have. So we have two farms, a factory, and a mine. I'm definitely going to want another factory on my home world. And then I'm probably definitely going to want a lab. Um, can I? Well, let's build the factory first. And then you're building a mine. You have a farm. We're going to build you a mine. You're, you are producing income now. Now that they've been assimilated. Oh, yeah. See, they, they were refugees and now they're slowly being assimilated. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of neat. What an interesting way to do it. All right. Let's go to the next turn. What do we got here? Uh, mineral pour. Mineral pour. Okay. All right. This was mineral rich, but I don't think we can colonize that. It's an arid planet. Uh, we're mainly digging ice planets here. However, these guys are on a different planet, aren't they? Oh, actually, that's that's more life. Oop, I want to see what it is. Okay. And as far as I can see, they don't give us any bonuses just yet. But these guys are on a... Oh, they're on a glacier planet too. Man, imagine humans trying to survive a glacier planet. I feel like that'd be super rough. Okay, you can head there. Good. And you're heading back. All right. Good stuff so far. Good stuff. What is this? Unknown fleet. One turn from Mira. I imagine we probably have some pretty some people pretty close to us. Um, can the transport go any further? It cannot. So I guess you can maybe head here. And right, we got somebody there. I'm not sure how the diplomacy is in this game. I guess we'll find out. Mineral rich in this planet. Where's the eye? Explore it. Okay. All right, we can't hit that system. Wow, ETA of eight turns. That's no fun. I would very much like to uh, get some military ships going. I imagine these guys must be somewhere over here then. That, that only makes sense because of the whole fuel thing. All right, more refugees being assimilated. Fantastic. I'm totally good with that. Uh, the population is growing pretty fast, actually. So is it mine. Mine grows by 125,000. And we're still building that factory. Okay. Fleet report. So I've only got three ships. And there's no transports doing trading right now, but that's something we could consider in the future. That system was captured. That really sucks. Oh, wait. Is there a colony? Uh, Some place we can colonize here? This is an ice ball. It's mineral poor, but it could maybe potentially make a... Uh, I don't see why it couldn't be a what am I trying to think 
It could be like a lab place, like a place where you put uh, labs. What is my planet in particular? It's an ice ball. Yeah, we should definitely build a colony ship as soon as we can. But I guess we'll finish building that production first. Contact established. All right, so uh, let's get this over with. Ooh. Who is who? I'm confused because neither of these are me. This is not me. I'm the beetle guy, so why am I? Okay, I'm not really sure. We should exchange diplomats and establish embassies. That actually costs us influence. That's pretty cool. I would like to negotiate a transaction. Prepare for more. Prepare content here. My apologies. Um, we do need to find some allies, and we need to find them pretty quickly. Very well. We should send diplomats to your homeworld and provide facilities for you to do the same. Is there anything else? Um, nope. Thanks. Sweet. So we're allies with these guys now. Awesome. I figure we're probably going to need to find some allies in a game on hard setting for my first time. Uh, probably something that's pretty important. I figure we might as well colonize this even if it's mineral poor. It could still be used for other things. Uh, but we're still trying to get this factory produced. Four more turns. And we're still trying to get this mine produced in, wow, three more turns. Okay. We'll need another factory there then. Who knows? Maybe we'll find like a really good colony on this system. That's kind of my hope right now. And then, can you? You can't. You suck. Okay. Well, head back to the home system. Maybe I'll trade resources with someone. All right. Mine has been constructed. And another mineral poor ice ball. Uh, kind of a bummer, but we definitely want to get some. We're definitely want to get some uh, colony ships going, but not from this planet. Um, this planet should really probably produce maybe another farm or something. Or an exploration vessel. Space station. Increase the capacity of the plant to build large starships by plus one hull tier. Pretty cool. Outpost. Can create an outpost on uh, uninhabited worlds. What does that give us? Really? Honestly? An outpost transport on uninhabited worlds. I mean, what's the difference between an outpost and a colony, I guess? Requires orbital infrastructure. Like, that's all I'm really wondering. I don't think we should build that just yet. We should probably get another farm. And then our home world, we're going to get a colony ship going right now actually so let's go ahead and get a colony ship definitely going to be super important 10 turns that really sucks uh hopefully it really doesn't take that many and what is this here though oh we already have a colony ship okay so we will we'll get a second one going i guess uh which one do i want to colonize though probably this one up here right or probably that one because then that'll keep it nice and tight here because if these guys advance there but they don't they probably colonize like different planets they probably don't yeah they have like garden planets so they're not going to be colonizing ice balls i don't think anytime soon they're both mineral poor this one's a little bit larger than this one man i say we go for this one we'll go for the larger one that makes sense right plus if we get that planet it should give me enough range to be able to explore this system and maybe these two uh, and that'll be pretty important but we can head here so let's do that Maybe we can get some trade going with food or something or uh, something to help us grow. I like that the turns go nice and quick. I wonder if they'll stay like that for the rest of the game. I guess we'll find out. Nah, no need to really, uh, no way to tell right now. All right, I really like to keep my transport ship busy. If there's one thing I hate, it's ships just sitting around or anything just sitting around that that's supposed that could be doing something. Like, you don't have any colonization. You know what? Actually, head this way. Because we're going to colonize that planet. We already know that. You can't head that way. If you head here, could you go from here to here? Yeah, I don't see why not if we colonize it. 
I want to head this way because then, you know, I can have my transport over here and then, or my count, or, uh, my scout. <laughs> I can have my scout over here and then have my transport maybe up here or it can come up here and start doing trading. I don't know. We're going to figure something out. Ooh, encountering. They're going to get there in two turns. We're going to get there in one. If there's anything valuable there, we'll get it first. Okay, we have discovered rapid fire lasers and contact established and maybe some other stuff. Let's see what's going on here, though. We got rapid fire lasers. Okay. Uh, an alien empire has been encountered at Thuban. Their admiral requests an audience. Okay, so there's somebody there. And, uh... Settlers. Okay, yeah. We're getting ready to colonize. Sweet. Let's do that. All right, to colonize, let's definitely work on getting a farm up right off the bat. Definitely going to be the most important thing. And uh, I'd say that, can we? will we be able to, I won't be able to see just yet. Okay, we'll wait and see if we can transport food from Bacabs uh, to uh, Shaleb, we'll say. Okay, these guys request an audience. So, contact Admiral Carver. Hello, human. See, this is not me, but that's okay. It may be just a placeholder screen for now. Greetings, Director Ten Shells. Uh, we should exchange diplomats and establish embassies. Um, we don't really want to go to war with anybody right off the bat, and uh, their first impression's pretty good of us, so I say, yeah, we definitely get some embassies going with them. Very well, we shall send diplomats to your homeworld and provide the facilities, okay? And uh, I don't think... Wow, that's costing me a lot in agreements. I did not know that it cost that much money. Well, we definitely don't want any enemies, that's for sure. So I'll figure this out in a minute. However, you can do some exploration. This is perfect. Be free. Okay, we want you to do some trading. Or transporting. Or trading, yeah. Transport this they will immediately start transporting food or generating income. After three turns, they will become available for use as colonist transports. Oh, really? Interesting. Transport assigned to trade duties. But where are you trading? I didn't where did you go? It just like disappeared. Alright, well. Okay. We're building another colony ship. We're gonna colonize Mira. I don't I just don't really see why not. This would have been great, but uh that's just how that goes, I guess. Getting a farm there. Um, you know, I'd actually really like to colonize like this system here. So why don't we head that way? And then we can get a good idea for what's going on. But really what we need to do is... Uh, we really need to... Uh, build some warships. And it pre-selected something for me because I forgot to select it. Uh, guidance system's probably not what I would have wanted to be fair. How close are we to finishing it, though? Uh, one more turn. We might as well do it. But yeah, that's not. I would. I really would have liked to have not gotten. Gotten. I mean, get, we get nuclear missiles and extra munitions, but I, I'm losing energy weapons. I mean, I guess I could put missiles on my ships too. But um, after that, we'll probably work towards market theory, so we can get the market. That just makes sense. Can I pew that up? I cannot. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just finish the guidance systems. There we go. So let's choose our next research right off the bat before I get uh, forget. We're going to go for market theory so we can uh, get some more income generating. Got farms going on here. Encountering more people. Uh, about to build a colony ship. Contact is established. What do we got here? Hello. The uh, Kagen Vendor, or not the Ural. Yeah, the Ural, sure. They're aggressive, but they're pragmatic. Okay. Um, we're just going to exit. We're not going to establish anything with them because we uh, blatantly will just not be able to afford it. I think uh, being allied with the humans and the dinosaurs, which is what I'm going to call them from now on, I think that's uh, perfectly fine. So um, we are at the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys for joining me for the first episode of this new series. Uh, so far, early game-wise, I say we're not really that bad. I mean, we got three colonies. About to have another one coming up here soon. Uh, doing some exploration. I'd like to get a military starting soon. And uh, kind of befriending two other empires here. So that could greatly help us out uh, with the whole hard and difficulty setting. I think, uh, yeah, not bad at all. So uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed this first episode. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh,